What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to IT Security Labs. And we're on day 24 of the advent of Cyber Challenge. This is our final day. We did it, everybody. We did every single challenge from day one. And now we're finishing day 24. So we've learned a lot. And thank you very much for following along with me. And please remember to follow this channel. There's a lot of really cool stuff coming in 2024. But otherwise, let's ju jump ahead and finish our final task. So our final task is about autopsy. We are going to be learning about digital forensics. There's two other rooms on Try Hack Me that cover the same two, but this is pretty much going to teach you how digital forensics work, uh, the collection of data, the challenges of using smartphones, and also introduce you to a tool called Autopsy. This is the most popular tool, and an image that we're using here is actually from a common image that it was uh, is open source out there that you can find. And the way that this works is we first need to sign into our virtual machine, which I already started and I'm in. And then we launch autopsy, which is this dog icon on the uh, desktop here. We just need to open an existing case. We already have an image that was captured. So this is just an existing case. So we choose open case instead of new case. And this should take us to here it says Tracy. And here's the autopsy file. Okay, so we are opening the case. Let's hope it opens up. There we go. So this might take a few seconds while autopsy loads. So we'll pause here. Okay, so after our machine, our autopsy loads, let's ask ourselves, one of the photos contains a flag. What is it? So in autopsy, we have the data. We can browse this phone like, you know, it was a phone in your hand, except we're using a tool. So we'll go to file types by extension. Then here we can see we have 156 images. So we need to find one photo that contains a flag. I hope you, you, this is not too much. Let's view by the thumbnail so that it's easier to see. And we can get an idea of which photo is what. Okay, maybe it's one of these boards. What's the other ones? Okay, this one is a bunch of gibberish. This one is also that. Oh yeah, there. I see it. It's kind of hard for you to see, but it's THM digital underscore forensics. So this is easy to type. All right. And submit that. What name does Tracy use to save detectives for this phone number? So we need to find out who this detective is and what the phone number is. And for that, I think we can go to phone numbers. Uh, I mean, SMS. So here's messages. I hope we don't have to go to the phone book. So here we need to look through these messages and see uh, which one is the detective. I hope we can read. Up here you can see that we have some messages. We can also read them down here. So we have to go through these. Uh, here's what they're talking about, the password. Password. Oh, I see a password here. Okay. I got distracted. Are they asking for a password? One SMS exchange with Van Spinkle contains the password. Okay, we'll answer the password one first. Okay, so back to this uh, phone number. I can't find it in the SMS, or at least I'm not reading. So let's go back to the photos. Maybe it was by the photos again. So this is a lot of uh, tedious work. I kind of have to scroll through a lot of these. Maybe I didn't look through all of them. These ones look like screenshots from the phone. So I think we've looked through all of these, or have we? So that is not the one. <laughs> we keep looking. Is it this one? So this, if I see this Van Sprinkles, that means that there must be another one. Let's keep looking. I probably passed it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Detective Carrot Dash Nose. All right, so that was it. As you can see, we completed the challenge, everybody. I just need to do, I think, the confrontation and maybe a survey that you need to do here. But we finished 25 days of the Advent of Cyber Challenge. And thank you so much for doing this with me. And I hope to see you next year for another one. Please follow me in 2024. I have a lot of really cool stuff that I'm planning on working on. And as you all know, we're growing, we're getting better, and that's the most important thing. So thank you for joining me, and very soon we'll be starting live streams, and I hope to see you then. Have a good one.